All right, so let's talk about nuclear reactions. Um, nuclear reactions are different from chemical reactions. In the whole chemistry class and your inorganic chemistry class you've been taking all year, um, you have been learning about just plain old chemical reactions. Well, nuclear reactions are different because they are reactions that occur inside the nucleus. Okay? So let's talk about some differences between chemical reactions and nuclear reactions. One of the main differences is that in chemical reactions, bonds are broken and formed. And that's what makes a chemical reaction occur. They're broken and formed between two different atoms. Where in a nuclear reaction, they are nuclei that emit particles and or rays into the atmosphere around it. So it might be one single atom that's changing and emitting something, that's changing the nucleus inside and emitting something out into the atmosphere around it. So it might not have anything to do with other atoms, other atoms at all, just one atom alone. Um, in a chemical reaction, atoms are unchanged but rearranged. So they may be breaking, breaking and rearranging in other ways, but the atoms themselves are unchanged. Whereas in nuclear reactions, because we're changing the composition of the nucleus, we might be changing the number of protons. If we change the number of protons, we know that proton, for, the number of protons is unique for each atom. So if we're going to change the number of protons in there, we're actually going to change from one type of atom to another type of atom. So you might have, you know, uranium might go from uranium, uranium to lead. Um, the, the atom actually completely changes its identity because it's changing the number of protons or changing the things inside the nucleus. In chemical reactions, they involve valence electrons. We know that. In nuclear reactions, they involve protons, neutrons, and electrons. Um, protons and neutrons are inside the nucleus, so these are the guys that are actually going to affect or make the chemical reaction or the nuclear reaction occur. Um, <clears throat> Chemical reactions, rel relatively, relatively, chemical reactions have small energy changes um, relative to nuclear reactions. Nuclear reactions have extremely, extremely large chemical chemical changes. I mean, if you think about a uh, chemical reaction, they, would, you know, something might blow up, and that's that's a lot to you and me. That a lot of energy being released. However, nuclear reactions can, if you think about an atom bomb, nuclear reactions can be, blow up cities and possibly even countries um, off of the map. Whereas um, chemical reactions might have a small explosion comparatively. Um, so they have actually a ton of energy within them. Um, chemical reactions are the rate of the chemical reactions influenced by concentration, temperature, pressure, and catalysts. The, te the um, nuclear reaction are unaffected by these things. The nuclear um, reaction rates can, are as large as millions and millions of years, like uranium decay, or um, thousand years, like carbon decay, or like milliseconds. Um, so these guys are not affected by the temperature, doesn't make a difference, by the concentration, by the, uh, any catalyst can't help it. Nothing can actually increase or decrease the rate of nuclear decay like you can with chemical reactions. Um, so those are the main differences between nuclear and chemical um, equations. And if you want to learn more, there's uh, more videos to come.